How's it going, pilots? Welcome to this very fun-filled flight review of the FMS Pitts biplane. Once again, Banana Hobby has done it again, and uh, we have here the uh, beautiful Pitts, Pitts uh, scale biplane made by FMS. This biplane is uh, pretty much the least amount of work that I can think of as far as getting an actual production uh, flying Pitts biplane, getting it in the air with the least amount of time. Very, very low build time and uh, just a lot of fun to fly. And just a couple of basic attributes to this biplane. Most of, uh, just pretty much all the surfaces here are screwed on there. So there are no really, you know, a lot of gluing or anything like that. Some minimal aesthetic stuff that needs to be glued. Tail section will come off in, in the event that you do damage it. Main wings come off for transportation. And uh, with the with the pulled uh, wing wing struts and everything like that and the wires, you can actually opt to use them or not. They're actually just for looks and uh, they look pretty cool too. With that, the wingspan of this pitch will come in at 55.1 inches and uh, she's going to fly on your 6S, 6S 3300 to 4500 milliamp rating. And I would suggest something above 45C rating because she does require quite a bit of a, a power a C rating to uh, actually get the performance out of this beautiful biplane. However, I put one flight on her so far and uh, for the still photos and it, she produced a ton of power on a 3300 and what we chose to use are the uh, Genesis Power 3300 6S 65C Pete Signature Series. Uh, these are my Signature Series batteries that I really, really stand behind. These are amazing, amazing batteries. And I gotta tell you, I, I believe it's a little bit light for this aircraft. It's a little bit on the lighter side for this pack, so I would suggest going to a 3700, possibly a 4500. And uh, there is ample enough room. I can show you real quick if I can get it up there. Um, there is, the uh, canopy is magnetic, so your your area is down here. The, um, you can spin this. There is ample room in there as you can see for a larger pack. You can go as high as 5,000 and there won't be any kind of a CG issue because you can actually shift it forward and back as you choose to act, to uh, set your set your seat, your center of gravity if you want it more aft or more forward. So that's kind of uh, to your own personal flying preference. Ton of room in here. Everything is on easy hinges, easy connectors, so it's really easily adjustable. And uh, you know, that's just some, some of the good qualities of this design with this, this uh, Pitts biplane made by FMS here. The uh, ESC is an 85 amp brushless ESC. It's paired with a 360 kV brushless outrunner. And it does have a switchable amperage external BEC as well. So you can actually pick from, I think, four and a half amps up to six amps, something like that, where you can switch it if you do choose to switch the BEC uh, output rating. You can get this at Banana Hobby as you're ready to fly if you choose to get the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter and a receiver from us and the battery as well. You can actually use the drop down menus and add it to your cart, or you can get it as a pretty much receiver ready and a LiPo ready. So you will be using your own LiPo and your own receiver. Today we've opted to use the Spectrum series. We have, we have an AR7200 in there and I'm using my own radio, which is the JR9503. Um, as far as control surface wise, you know, it's a pitch biplane. This is what we call a very scale sport aerobatic airplane. And um, on my first flight, I was able to push the limits of 3D a little bit. It's not really made for hard 3D, let's say, that kind of stuff. But scale aerobatics, tumbles, knife edges, slip passes are very, very beautiful in this. You know, this is something that uh, that Sean D. Tucker flies in all the uh, air shows and stuff. Well, he used to fly one. I think he's up to a different aircraft now. But, you know, with that, the uh, Pitts biplane is a, a classic of an aerobatic aerobatic airplane of all air shows and it's been a staple of the uh, air show industry and I'm excited to bring this review my once again my name is Pete and without any further ado well, let's go ahead and uh, take a cruise in this beautiful Southern California blue sky and this little bit of a crosswind once again let's give it a little juice she is hot and ready to go let's go to the runway
All right, pilots. That is your flight review of the FMS Pitts biplane. Um, we kept the flight pretty raw of uh, pretty much scale aerobatics for you up there. We did some tumbles, some loops with big loops with uh, snaps on top. And as you can see, the performance is absolutely amazing. It's unlimited vertical, and I've yet to tweak it some more to get it to my liking. And uh, we're probably going to do some more 3D with it and uh, see what we can mix in there on my uh, next flights here. But that was your flight review for this beautiful uh, FMX Pitts biplane. And uh, power, like I said again, it is uh, absolutely amazing. On the 3365C6S, I'm actually getting six minutes flight time and then I'm checking my cells and I'm only at about 3.75 per, uh, volts per cell. So I can still probably go another minute or so depending on the flying style. But with a three bladed individual, and also I forgot to mention, the blades are individual leads so you can actually remove each blade if you actually damage one. And uh, with a three bladed propeller, it's extremely efficient and power is just, you know, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> It's pretty much, I, it hovers at probably about half throttle. I could pretty much let it go and it'll just go full straight vertical there. Once again, my name is Pete and this is the FMS, beautiful FMS Pitts biplane. This is a classic of all air shows once again, you know. I think I grew up going to the air shows with my dad here and, uh, and family and watching these Pitts biplanes fly in all these air shows like at Miramar and Vandenberg and all these places. What a treat to be able to fly something like this yourself now. And uh, with that, my name is Pete once again. I'd love to have you guys and gals out there follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, check out all the new videos coming to YouTube as well. And uh, I'm going to call it a wrap today. It's pretty hot out here, pretty windy, and this pits has been fun. We will see you on the web. <laughs>